Hello everyone and welcome back to the Node.js course. In this lesson, you will learn how to use external files such as CSS files in your Express app. The first thing that you have to know is you can't use a static file directly in your browser. For example, I'm going to go ahead and create a new file in our project folder. I can say here styles.css. Now I'm going to open this project in browser if you want to run this you can say notman and then app and here is our project now I'm going to visit into forward slash styles dot CSS you will see we got an error 404 error okay that because we can't use static file directly before continue let's add some CSS code inside styles dot CSS file we can say body and then we can set the background as let's say it is black now let's link this styles.css file in our views I'm going to open our partials folder and the head.ejs file here I'm going to add link rel and the value as style sheet okay now I'm going to add href equals and value as forward slash styles.css okay now I'm going to open my browser and click refresh you can see our background color is still white browser cannot access this styles.css file directly okay now let's open the browser and click inspect element now in the network tab I'm going to just refresh the page now we can see we get an 404 error for our styles.css file okay to fix this we can create the middleware in our app.js for that all we have to do is below of this app.listen method we are going to create the static middleware so we can say middleware and static files here okay now I'm going to go ahead and type app.use inside that I can say express dot static okay then add parenthesis now inside that function we have to pass in the folder name that we are going to make as public that allows to read by the browser okay now I'm going to create the folder in our root path we can say that is public now we can move this styles.css file to our public folder like this all right now inside parentheses we can pass in the parameter as our folder name as this as a string okay now we can end up with this semicolon now open our browser and click refresh now you can see our background color has been changed now the status code is okay for our styles.css file all right now I'm going to move our style to our styles.css file in our head.ejs file we have this style code now I'm going to just cut everything and I'm going to remove this style tags and move our style code into style.css file all right now I'm going to click refresh my page here everything is fine and the status code also okay now I'm going to visit into about page everything is okay and the new block that's okay also all right now we can go ahead and say styles.css and see this file okay that's how to allow browser to read any folder that we mention here in our middleware okay you can say any name for this but commonly we are using public for that as a quick note please go to styles.css file and there was a mistake here you can find this error to fix this you have to add this font size and I'm going to say 1.2 
em that means total size will be 1 then the size will be increased by 0.2% of this 1 right okay now enough with the semicolon now I am going to set the cursor type as pointer all right now we can save this file here we can open our browser and click refresh and everything is okay right now let's go back to our head.ejs file here you can see our path is just forward slash stash.css because we can really don't want to say forward slash public and then forward slash stash.css because it will you can see end up with an error like this because it is checking the folder that available inside public folder okay it asking whether it has a folder called public inside of this public folder that's why we don't want to say public now let's open the browser now everything is fine okay that is it for this video we will see in the next lesson thank you